We're now at normal status. Howdy. I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And today we're going to be talking about why I am not doing JSON and JS coding programming. I, uh, from time to time, people ask me about JSON questions and or they'll ask me to debug their code or they'll ask something like, hey, how does this uh, JS work? How do you do this JavaScript text? And I'll say something like, I'm not doing JavaScript. And they'll say, but Cyberax, why? Why? Why don't you want to do JavaScript? It can do so much more. So much more. Well, you know it can do a lot more than my car I drive around? A backhoe? Yeah. A backhoe can do a lot more than my car. But do I want to drive a backhoe around all day to go get me some Wendy's or go get me some groceries? I do not. I do not want to have to maintain a backhoe. I do not want to have to buy a backhoe. I do not want to have to learn how to run a backhoe. Now you might say, but a backhoe does so much. Yes, it does. It does a lot more than a shovel does, right? However, if I'm digging the holes that I want with a shovel just fine, why would I take the time to go learn how to use a backhoe? Right? But it does so much more. But I don't I don't I don't need to do so much more. I, I'm I'm doing pretty good with what I got right here, just fine, blowing all your mine holes. So if I'm doing all of this without JSON and without JS learning, just with Bridge. So I'm doing everything you've ever seen me do with Bridge, just toggling stuff. I am a glorified toggler. And the reason why I'm doing Bedrock versus Unreal Engine 5 or Godot or any other thing is because I don't want to be a programmer. I don't want to be a coder. I don't want to do JSON. I don't want to do JS. I don't want to do C Sharp. I don't want to do C++. I don't want to do Python. I am not a coder. I'm not a programmer. I'm a game developer. I want to take all of the features and all of the assets and all of the stuff that's out there, and I want to put it in your game, and I want to develop that game, and it's something amazing. I do not want to sit in a closet for the rest of my life looking at a code screen thinking about the syntax and why it's wrong and spending my days in in some code window. I don't want to do it. They've tried to make me do it for 30 fucking years, and I don't want to do it. It's not how my brain works. It's not who I am. It's not what I enjoy doing. I hate doing it. I hate it with a passion. The last thing that I want to do every day is get up and look at code in a code screen. I don't want to do it. I hate it. I would rather go to Unreal Engine and do blueprints than be forced to do code in Bedrock. The reason I'm in Bedrock is because I could do it without any code, and it wasn't a requirement of JS or learning a language or being a coder or trying to be a fake programmer and going through all this process. It's not how my brain works, and so let me explain that. All of us have different brains. Our brains have different pathways. Our brains have different strengths. And our di brains have different abilities. And one of my weaknesses is I don't have the ability to memorize concepts. So these 
concepts that are required. I have an extreme ability to problem solve. I have an extreme ability to logically reason. And I have spare, blah, 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 visualization, spare, blah. I, I obviously, my, see, see, this is exactly what I'm trying to say. My English failures say I can't properly pronounce the phonics of this because English requires me to memorize how the phonics breaks up and what all of these R's and vowels and A's and A's and, and IOU's and all of these things. But see, my brain can't remember and hold this data. So for 30 years, especially going through school, the teachers would tell me this stuff and it would be there for a few days and then it's gone. And then they give me a test and I'd fail the test because I cannot remember these things. That's not how my brain works. Now I can problem solve them by going and having it read that to me or going through a process, a logical process to do it. However, programming is all about memorization of syntax learning how the concepts of each language function and i cannot do this i was tested in school and the test showed that i was unable to remember and store the auditory and visual cues that others learned best with. So in school, I failed. I failed a lot. It, it would probably not surprise you to learn that I don't have a high school diploma. I had enough credits to get one, but because of this failure point, I struggled to finish one of the required credits required to graduate. So even though I had enough credits, I didn't have the right credit. Uh, 0 0.025 of a credit I was missing because of I, I couldn't pass an advanced math class. So even though you've seen all of my work and all of the phenomenal things I do and I'm able to do through problem solving and logical reasoning, when you put me into a programming environment and require me to apply programming skills that I can't remember or memorize the syntax and the rules to, then all of a sudden I fail and my failure rate skyrocket. So before I found Bridge and I was just doing JSON by itself, my failure rates were over 20% in all of the things I was doing because I was constantly struggling with how to even get past the JSON syntax. Now you say, well, you could just use autocomplete. Well, autocomplete is fine if you're doing JSON for JSON industries, but we're doing JSON for Bedrock, which is a... a uh, niche and so all of the rules and syntax and the things that don't work and do work and the mojangs and then all of that cause all of these memorizations that you need to have you need to memorize and know what all of those different rules are and all the format versions and what this and what that and all of those things do using bridge i don't need to do any of that i open up the software you put in the format version you want it does all of the rest of the work. All I have to do is do this little drop down and push uh, some, something from the list. So if I say, hey, I need to add a component, all the components in the game are here, and I literally just go through and test every one of them and see what it does and if it works for me. So trial and error. That is how I learn and do development. Now, if you say, oh, well, here's a backhoe, and now you need to go learn JS and do programming to continue doing what you're doing or to do anything new or to use blocks or to do items. Personally, I think that's a really, really negative thing to add into the Bedrock community. I know a lot of people say, well, it's so good because it adds so much more and it does so much more. But if you want so much more and you want that ability, then go to Java. 
we already have Java where you can be a programmer and you can be a coder and you have the ability to do so much more. Why would we take Bedrock and make it as difficult and, you know, a nightmare to deal with and mod in and add-ins in and dev in as Java when we already have Java? The benefit of Bedrock is it met everybody where they were so someone that's eight years old or 10 years old that has no background of anything can pick it up and in a few hours learn how to do things but now that the bar of entry has been raised to a js level those same kids now have to go learn a programming language or learn js and the fundamentals of programming plus json just to do what they could do um, or what we were told we would be able to do over the last few years um so why do i think that that's happened why do i think that things have changed and all of a sudden now we're getting um json well personally i think it's because they they want to raise the bar so that it's a higher entry level um, I think marketplace is saturated and overwhelmed. There's a lot of junk and a lot of bad stuff. And instead of having a better review process and holding partners to a higher standard, the solution is raise the bar. So only, you know, programmers and JS and people that have a programming background, um, in essence, will be able to get those jobs. So going forward, the marketplace will be full of programmers with college degrees more than, it will be any devs that came from the community. Um, in my opinion, that's disgusting. I think that's really sad and disappointing. Um, I think the entire niche and one of the, the greatest reasons why Bedrock has done what it's done and been what it's done is because the, the entry point is so easy and the ability to get in and learn stuff is so easy. In my opinion, Bedrock is the number one best place to start doing game development, or it was until JS was added. Now that JS has been added, it's so convoluted and the bar's been raised and there's so much complexity and mess to it that you might as well just go learn Godot or UE5 or just go full into some other actual engine that has the ability to handle all the stuff you're going to do. Um, because, yeah, you may say, well, JS is so powerful and can do so much, but is Bedrock the place for JS to be using that power and and doing so much more i don't think so i think bedrock was in a really good place with js and with um, the systems that had been put in and i think that it would have been a much better uh, move for the um, ecosystem the community if they pushed forward with js blocks instead and j the i'm sorry the json blocks instead and js was never added or put in um, However, in that scenario, the people that lose the most are the, the developers at Mojang. The developers at Mojang don't want to be doing JS. They are professional programmers and developers and, and coders. They want to be doing programming, and programming is in JS. They don't want to be doing J, you know, JSON and be doing stuff like we're doing it now, or we're doing it because that's not what they were educated. That's not what their education is, and that's not what they're hired to do. And programmers are going to program. Programmers are not going to look at the customer and say, oh, we have an 8 to 10 year old coming into this industry and they're starting out. This will be the first time they're doing anything. We should give them a easy non-coding experience to get them started to teach them these um, concepts of game development. Instead, they're going to say we're programmers and the solution to everything and every problem is programming. That's the only tool they have. They don't have any other tools. They don't have, they didn't, they didn't learn this way. Most of them went to college, they got a college degree, and then they got a job in game development. They aren't indie devs that came up through the industry, learned the hard way, didn't have the guides, learned how to do it, and made something of it. Um, and that's a big difference because if you come from, you know, public education or private, you know, upper education, then you believe in most cases the solution of all the world's problems are just government and upper education. I don't believe that. I think that most of our problems are government education. So there's just a huge 
divide there of who and what do you think is the solution to our issues? I don't think we have issues in Bedrock. I think Bedrock was going really well, and we were just asking for 1% more, and instead they dumped the 99% we had that was working great and now gave us a hybrid of two systems, both of which, in my opinion, don't work well. Um, so back to the core, why am I not doing doing JSON? One, I think it's wrong to add it to Bedrock. I think it's the wrong move for the community. I think it's the wrong move for the players. I think it's the wrong move for indie game developers learning to get into the industry. Um, if they wanted to make a more advanced, better system, they should have taken Java and they should have done something with it. It is already that system that they say they want, and most people don't want to play it. Most people don't want to dev in it. Most people don't want to do it because it's too difficult. Almost all of the people doing Bedrock Dev now were doing Java Dev. I started in Java. I don't want to do Java. I don't want to do the difficult bullshit that they have to do just to make simple things function. And yet, all of a sudden now, we got to do more complex, more overhead, more diagging, more learning programming, more bullshit because they want more without saying what that more is or without actually even like giving a goalpost. So yeah, JS can do more. Great. Back to the the uh, backhoe. I don't want a backhoe in Bedrock. I, you can put a backhoe in Java just fine. They like backhoes over there. They like complex, difficult things that are hard to maintain and costly. Um, it's very costly to maintain JS. It costs more. It takes more. So a studio needs higher trained people. They need more programmer level people. That costs a lot more. They compete with other game industries. They compete with other stuff. So instead of getting any game devs that are coming up and this is their first job and they're getting into bedrock and they're getting into the industry, those people aren't going to have that opportunity anymore. Those opportunities are going to be gone. Those are going to be given to programmers that are coming out of educated systems. And in my opinion, Mojang and Microsoft like that because those are the people they went to school with. Those are the people they're used to. Those are the people that are going to do the things they like and in the programming procedures they like. So it's better for Mojang, but it's worse for the community, in my opinion. Now, you could say, well, it's better for the community because more options are better. No, more options are not better. Um, more options cause more overhead, more cost, more maintenance, more diag, more education needed, a higher bar of entry, and a whole bunch more support and documentation. So while I agree there are times when more is better when you have an entry level product like bedrock where people are coming in for the first time more is not better more complexity is not better um, it's worse it's much worse and you see it by every person that comes in for the first time and people tell them you got to learn js to be able to do anything and you just see it how depressing it is how how high that hill is versus previously two years ago or three years ago people would come in and say hey you just follow this guide and in a few hours you'll be up and going they can't do that anymore because now oh you got to go learn js so now you're talking about weeks and months of work just to get the basics, just to get the foundation. And you say, well, you can start doing stuff in JS right away in minutes. But most of the people that say that already have background or are taking classes or have already been doing indie game dev. Go back to the very first day you started this and now think about someone telling you you got to learn JS. Just to get started, how many people are going to be pushed away? How many people aren't going to do Bedrock Game Dev or get in and do add-ons or get in and do mods because the bar of entry has been raised so high? I, I think it's insulting that the people doing and making these decisions don't 
seem to care about that part of the community. And I understand there's a lot of money behind it and there's a lot of, well, this is just one small niche. But in my opinion, Bedrock is only what it is because of the add-on developers and the content we've made for Marketplace and mods and add-ons. Without the add-ons, Bedrock would be nothing. Nothing. Marketplace is what's made Bedrock Bedrock. If it was just normal J Java or normal Minecraft without any of the mods or any of the add-ons, none of this would have happened. None of this would have taken place. And the very people that fought through and made those add-ons and made that content and made that stuff without JS are the ones that are now being pushed out of the industry and told they have to learn JS or they're not welcome here anymore or they aren't going to be able to use blocks or they aren't going to be able to use items or they aren't going to be able to use all of these things that were promised to us and we've been told we're coming for years and years and years and now they say well we failed to be able to do it how we said we were so instead now we're going to do js and i watched a video of someone at mojang saying that the only reason why we got js is because they saw someone in china doing it in the china version and they thought oh that's so amazing we gotta bring that here no thought of what that does. Now, keep in mind, that was a programmer that saw someone doing JS in a game, Minecraft, in China and said, oh, we need to add that programming ability into Bedrock. No thought of barrier of entry. No thought of what this does to the game in the industry. He didn't say, oh, we should add this to Java. Yet Java is already there ready for this. It already has that community. That community already loves this type of complexity and this type of issue. It's what they thrive on. The Bedrock community doesn't, and yet we're having this shoved down our throats, uh, kicking and screaming. And the only people typically in the community that jump in and say, oh, that's great, are the ones that already are doing programming and have that interest or doing it in college or doing it in school or already had gotten into it because that's their interest. The rest of us, which is like 95% of us, have no care of JS or interest in it or wanted to do it. Um, and so you have a ton of fanboys that love programming and coding and say, oh, it's easy, just get in and do it. Um, because they're already doing it and getting in and doing it. They've already passed that bar. They've already got past it. They already have that brain type. They already enjoy doing it. But everybody else that doesn't enjoy doing it or doesn't want to spend their life being a coder and just wants to make some add-ons or just wants to change some stuff in the game for their friends is sitting back saying, what the hell? What? Why would the entire community move everybody just for js it doesn't make any sense uh, i know i have seen almost nothing from js so far that tells me that this is the salvation of bedrock and this is the thing that's gonna fix everything in fact i've seen an insane amount of complexity the same amount of help needed the the amount of help in the discords and the community help requirement just to support js is insane and we're not getting any more help from mojang we're not getting any staff that come in and actually help people in the channels and go through we get some documentation but that's it. We had some documentation before. So all of a sudden now, the barrier to supporting the community is 10x. The, the demand for overhead and diag support is 10x. No extra help from Mojang. No extra help from anywhere else. The community is just supposed to bend over and take it and support all of this overhead. And what do we get out of it? Oh, it can do more. Well, what more can it do? Oh, it could uh, rotate blocks. Oh, it could it could do this code in the background. It's going to be really cool someday. Meanwhile, we get very little showing us anything actually being done. Every time I say, hey, I'm struggling with this. What's the solution? Oh, it's JS. It's JS. you got to do JS. Okay, well, how does that work? Show me the solution. Oh, you can't do it yet. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's at that 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 won't work for that. It, 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 I I've yet to find very many solutions where JS actually solves anything today. 
90% of the time they say, well, it will solve something in the future because it can do more. Well, it's the same thing as idiocracy saying electrolytes. Why do we do J JS? Because it has electrolytes. Because it can do more. It can do more. I don't want more. I don't need more. You know what I really want is the promises of blocks and items to work correctly like they were told to us in 1.14 and 1.16 they would be. We're 1.21 and we still don't have functional blocks. We don't have interactive blocks. We don't have interactive, you know, items are still in a shit state. Um, we have to use BPACs to do most things or scripting to solve it, which most of the time scripting still doesn't seem to solve it. It just causes more issues and more complexity. Now, I'm sure there's some great, unique things that JS is just phenomenal at, but I would challenge that we didn't need those in Bedrock in the first place. And the only people that want those in Bedrock are programmers that want to program. Um, not Minecrafties that want to add stuff to the game or indie game devs that just want to build new stuff and content. Um, it seems more like programmers that just want to program and everything is programmer to them. Um, to give you some background, I grew up with programmers. So um, many of the f members of my family are hardcore uh, crypto and um, cypher punks and, um, you know, everything from C++ to C Sharp to Python to all of the other fun ones that are out there these days. Um, and that's what they've told me my whole life. Just learn to code. Just learn to code. Just learn Java. Just learn, you know, just learn it. Just just do it. It's easy. Just get in there and learn some coding. Just learn to code. Learn to, learn to code. Just learn to be a programmer. Um, so once again, I, I went to a professional doctor. I took their tests, and their tests say, I would not be a good programmer. Their test said I wouldn't do good at math and English because of the syntax and the memorization required to pass it and get through school. Um, so then to tell me, hey, we all have to be programmers to do game development it is insane because look at what I'm doing. I'm doing it with no programming. 30 years I've been told you can't do game development, you can't make stuff unless you're a programmer. Well, look, I'm doing it. I've proven them all wrong. I've proven they're all full of shit. You can see it. You've seen it in all my guides. You've seen it in all my content. I'm doing stuff that most people can't dream of, and I'm doing it with no JS, no coding. I'm doing it all in bridge, and I'm doing it all in stable. So why would I waste my time learning JS, for one? Why would I do something that I know that I'm set up to fail at because my brain isn't built for it? Um, that doesn't seem logical. And for everybody else that doesn't understand how people's brains work and how different we are, to keep telling us, you gotta learn JS, you gotta do JS, you gotta learn JS, you gotta do da 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 da. You're stupid if you don't learn JS. JS is so easy. It's so easy. Just do it. Those people make me feel stupid and like a moron. Now, look at everything I've made and created. Do you think I'm a stupid moron? But. The people that only believe JSON, JS, JSON programming, coding is the answer make the rest of us, which is like 80% of the community, feel stupid. They keep telling us to climb a ladder, but we're fish. Now, you might be a monkey. You might be something that can climb that ladder, and good for you. But for you to tell the fish in the water swimming around having a good time that they're stupid and they're morons and it's easy and they should just be able to do it, why can't you as a fish f climb this ladder? It shows that you're ignorant that we're different. 
I'm a fish, you're a monkey. Telling me as a fish to climb a ladder or swing a branch makes me feel stupid. How about you come swim in the water for 30 minutes and see how you do when you drown, you motherfucker? It, see the problem? Like, it, the small, minute people programmers have this elitism that they're better than everybody else. And that if you don't learn programming, you're not as good as they are. And I've dealt with that my whole life, and it's disgusting. And we see it in this community a lot. Just learn JSON. It's so easy. Just learn JS. It's so easy. TypeScript. TypeScript. So easy. Why are you complaining? We're complaining because our brains don't work that way. And it's a struggle for us. And it's setting us up for failure. And you don't seem to care. That's why we're complaining. In my opinion, that's an abusive relationship. Um, but I've stopped complaining and saying anything because the mob that is this community is so toxic that if you speak out and say anything, all of a sudden you hate my uh, Mojang and you hate all their staff and you're an evil bigot and you're trying to bash them and you're harassing them. Um, I didn't change the system. I've been here. You guys came in and you guys changed it from underneath us. You didn't ask. You didn't get the community involved. You failed at what you were doing and you told us we would have. You failed. And then you pivoted to something else completely different than what you promised and what you had said you were going to do. And then you wonder why we're upset and the community, the 10 percenters, the the cultists jump behind you and say, oh, it's so easy. We all got to be programmers. But most of them are already in coding classes or in college doing it. They're not a 10-year-old kid. They're not a 40-year-old guy. What? They're not even in the ballpark of the demo. So what? it doesn't make sense to then say, well, for this 10%, we're going to dump the rest of the community and force everybody to step up to JS because it can do more. Everybody has to go learn a backhoe. Everybody has to know how to maintain the backhoe and everybody has to be able to diag it just to dig a hole now. No more shovels. You got to learn the backhoe. And if you can't learn the backhoe as a 10 year old, then bedrock isn't the place for you and you're not welcome here is what I hear. Um, when they say, JS is so easy. Just do it. Just learn it. Just learn JSON. Just learn JS. Well, I haven't learned JSON, so how the hell am I going to learn JS? I haven't been able to. I've tried. It doesn't work for me. I can't remember the syntax. When I try to do it, and I try to use it with VS Code or a specific coding program, not Bridge, my failure rate skyrockets, and I spend all day just diagging code. Versus when I use Bridge and I do no code, I have a failure rate of 0.1, and I can do all these things, and I spend all my day just making wonderful things, and I spend none of my day doing coding diag. Doesn't that sound like a much better lifestyle? Well, for me, it is. And so uh, the more Mojang and Microsoft shove coding and raise the bar um, for Bedrock, the less I'm going to do Bedrock. I would rather go do Unreal Engine 5. If you're going to make me do this complexity and do this type level of stuff, why would I do it in Bedrock? Why? If I want more, then I want a lot more. And JS does not give us enough to bridge the difference between a real full game engine and Bedrock with JS. I, it doesn't make any logical sense. The only people that benefit out of adding JS to Bedrock is Mojang and the professional programmers that work there, not the community. The community would have benefited a lot more from having logical blocks that worked just like entities and having items that had components in it and having a component event component group system just like we have in entities and everywhere else in bedrock in my opinion and experience with 80,000 help posts and 300 guide videos doing this for four years almost every day 
I believe JS is a toxic add to the industry and the ecosystem and the better solution for the ecosystem and the creators, 90% of them, not the 10% coders or programmers or those people that enjoy it, but the 90% that are actually the creators and gamers and people that are out there adding stuff to their game would have been to, to continue on what they were doing that they failed at and put in events and components and component groups back into blocks and back into items where they were. They were working fine. The they failed piece of it sounds more like the programmers didn't want to support it and do it how the game was created. They want it to be a programmer language and easy for programmers to maintain and manage. I don't believe that pushing that level of requirement and bar on the community is healthy for the community or healthy for bedrock i think it's the bad cho it's a bad choice and a bad move for bedrock so saying that that's my opinion of why i believe those were bad choices how i personally have been affected by the choices and how i think that they have damaged what we are able to do we're able to do less today um and the regular system without JS. So without taking that leap into JS, we can do less than we could before. Um, I think that's a major issue that um, has been skipped over. Game test was also something in there they promised that also failed and has now been converted into, oh, it's full JS and we're gonna go do full scripting. We're gonna do full APIs. Um, if they really believed APIs were the, the correct solution for Bedrock, then why don't we have DX12 APIs allowed? Why are they blocking RTX APIs? Why are they blocking the GX, GFX system APIs? If adding APIs and scripting and more ability into the system is better for the community, then why are you blocking it for the graphics engine and for, say, scripting engines and for adding graphic or the, the GFX side of it? Um, it doesn't add up on the same side. So if truly you believe API access and adding programming into Bedrock is the best thing for the community and for the ecosystem, then logically you need to do that for all of it, for all of it, and make it a real game engine with API and scripting access at every point. But instead, it's going to be just here and there and just here and there and just here and there and just picked and, and you know, these and not that and and it's not going to be a more is better. It's going to be a selective system of what these few things are better. Um, so I, I don't think that's a good, a good industry or ecosystem for Bedrock. I think Bedrock's key benefit above all other games is that its entry to be able to mod and do add-ons was so easy an eight-year-old could do it that's changed and i think that that's bad for the ecosystem so back to the original we're almost at 40 minutes uh my brain doesn't function um the same as i guess most people or yours or i hate to say most people because i think the numbers are about 40 percent of people um have the same type of issues um and so i think that there's a good percentage of the population that will not be able to do um json or js i think we've already proven that quite well that a good uh section of the people needing help uh, aren't able and haven't been able to pick up i mean most of them can't haven't gotten to acs and be, been able to do acs which is a very basic scripting concept um, if they're struggling to do a basic animation controller how the hell are they going to do js um it, it it seems like the people making these choices are out of touch with their customer and the community base that's actually doing it if i had to guess in my experience what i would say is their focus is partners and money um, more than it is creating a ecosystem for creators to move into so four years ago, five years ago, before the marketplace was created, the only focus was the creators and making it easy for people to get in and make stuff. 
but because marketplace has bought brought in you know billion dollars into the industry now the focus is on enabling and giving more power to the programmers within the partner program so that they can do more with it and make more money and you see the difference there so instead of focused on the creator side of things and making it an easy bar to entry and being able to let anybody mod and do add-ons, um, the focus is money and allowing partners to hire professionals to do more through an API programming system. Those two I don't think are compatible with each other. Um, I think that if I was doing it, I would stick with the original plan for four or five years ago and I'd make it an easy entry barrier to entry so anybody can get in create and I'd force the partners to deal with it. Because that's what bedrock is. That's the bedrock they got into. Instead, what they've done is they got into bedrock how it was, and now they've demanded and bitched and moaned that it be changed into something completely different so that they can profit more on it. That's gross, in my opinion. Um, that's the corporate world taking something that was a, a special niche in the industry that only bedrock had this. It was the only game out there that any kid could pick up and start creating in and modding in and doing add-ons in in a few hours and now that's being changed into a corporate profit center um, where it feels like they don't want those people <clears throat> they don't want those kids in there they want the professionals to make professional products that they sell to the kids instead so that's my rant about uh, why I don't do JSON and I don't do JS and I'm not going to do JS. Um, the more they shove JS down my throat um, and force us to use it instead of other things or the more they take away those features, the more I just won't be part of this community and I'll go to a different community that is welcoming for what I want to do. So up until now, I felt like Bedrock was by far the best place to be. I've tried for 30 some years to learn game development and a lot of these concepts and, and through Bedrock, because of its simplicity and how it functions, I was able to learn a lot more um, even while doing Unre uh, Unreal Engine 4 and 5 um, than I had learned over there. So in Bedrock, like a state machine, is much easier to understand and learn um, than it is in Unreal Engine or doing animation controllers is much easier to learn. And so by doing development in Bedrock, because of how easy and how um, non-complicated it is, I was much more... Um, it was much easier for me to learn how to do game development. So I learned a lot more how the concepts work. Even though I was doing those concepts in Unreal Engine, I didn't understand them very well because it's so complex over there and you have to build everything from the ground up from scratch where Bedrock already has this perfect foundation and you can see how things function within it. And so personally, I think, well, one, why am I passionate about this? Because Bedrock changed my life and allowed me to make games and be able to be a game developer when I was told I would never be able to because I wasn't a programmer. So you can see that I've been told my whole life, you can't do game development, you can't make your dreams, you can't make content until you're a programmer. And through Bedrock and Bridge, I was able to prove those people wrong and show that you can do all of those things. However... Now, those programmers are inside the Breadrock community saying, you can't do game development and make your dreams without learning JS and programming again. So I, I found somewhere that those toxic people weren't. And now over the last four people or four years, those toxic programmers have now come into the community and taken it over. And they tell people every day, you have to learn JS to do this. You have to learn JS to do this. You have to learn JS. You should learn JS. You should learn JSON and JS. You should. It's like every day in the chat. Yet, they didn't need to learn JS or JSON over the last four years to do what they want to do or make their dreams. They're being told they have to now. And... I think that's offensive. I think that that's 
not healthy for the ecosystem or community. But when I bring that up, people then say, well, you hate Mojang. You're being a hater. You're being abusive. You're being harassing. No, I'm literally stating my point and my point of view. And someone in the community seeing this, being involved, being invested in community, sees harm and damage being done by programmers and people that don't seem to have a focus on the barrier of entry or the bar of entry or meeting people where they're at. I think it's more important to meet the creators where they're at than forcing them to meet Mojang where Mojang wants to be in the JS world. There's two huge difference there. Um, the original Bedrock seems to have been created to make and meet the creators where they were. The current system is telling and requiring creators to step up to where Mojang and the professional programmers at Mojang want to be and demand we all move up to. Um, there's a huge difference in the mentality and the thought process behind those and the priorities and where the focus is of who is the customer here and who are we trying to meet the needs of and who are we trying to give a great experience to. I don't think focusing on the programmers and giving the programmers a great experience is free. I think that's at the cost of everybody else that's not a programmer. So the 90% of us are now going to have to change and either leave the industry or move into programming or encoding to keep up with Mojang's demands. Um, even though four years ago when we started to invest this time and energy, none of this was even on the table. It was all going to be blocks and items and components and events, and all of that's been wiped out. I don't know if that's because of employment changes and leadership at Mojang. Um, they say it's because they failed to implement those other systems and they were too complex and there's not enough um, bandwidth within the staff but when programmers tell me there's not enough bandwidth within their support staff to me that translates into they want to do programming because programming is easier to support and non-programming isn't that simple programmers only can see programming as the solution that's the only tool they have So why am I not doing JS? My brain doesn't do it. I've tried for 30 some years. I've tried to do, um, you know, and uh, when I was 18, I bought a book for Learn Java in 30 Days, and that was, you know, 20 years ago. Um, one of my family members took that book and learned it, and he's a professional programmer, and he makes incredible software and incredible stuff, and his brain works that way. Um, I've done Python paid programming for Python. I've done XML, I've done um, HTML, CSS, I've done probably 10 or 15 to 20 different languages that I've learned to make a project. And then as soon as the project's done, all of that information I learned is gone, normally within three days to a week. So I probably could sit down, learn JS, use it for one project for a week or two, but then if I stop at any point during that, it's all gone. So I just wasted all of that time. So there you go. That's Cyberax's uh, rant and complaint about JS and why I'm not doing JS, why I've never done JSON. Um, my do no code. I've never had a problem doing no code. I can do everything I seem to want to do. Um, I'm doing... I bet 10 to 100x more than all the people even doing JSON without any code. And yet somehow I'm being told um, I'm stupid because I don't want or can't climb a ladder. I'm a fish. Um, fish don't climb ladders. And if you are out there and one of those people that just tells everybody it's easy, then maybe you should look around and learn and see what everybody else is because we're not all monkeys like you we're we don't all have that ability some of us are fish some of us are birds some of us are insects 
Um, and if you think everybody processes and learns and does the things the same as you, then you, how you treat people is probably not very good. Um, because you probably think everybody around you is lazy. Everybody around you is a moron. Everybody around you just doesn't want to do it because they just, they just want to sit on the couch. Um, but you're telling people they're showing up to a discord that, that are going out of their way. They're not on the couch right now. They're in discord, trying to learn something, trying to do game development, trying they're putting the effort in, and when they show up and put the effort in, you tell them they're stupid because they didn't learn JSON or because they're struggling to learn JS or because they don't want to do coding. There's something really demented about that. Um, so I would request, you know, maybe you reevaluate that. So uh, this is Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and I'm a no-coder. I just want to be a game developer and take the things I see in my brain, and I want to put them in a video game, and I want to play that video game with my friends and maybe sell it on Marketplace once in a while so I can eat, maybe uh, give it out to the community so they can uh, have some fun and, and they can try or they can learn from it. But the thing I don't want to do, I don't want to spend my day in a coding window in VS Code trying to diag some syntax error I made or trying to help other people diag some syntax error they made. Um, no, I don't want to do that. That's not a fun life. I, I don't want to spend my days doing that. And if that's what Bedrock add-in turns into, I'll go do something else. So if you don't see me tomorrow... And I don't show up anymore, you'll know why.